Earlier this week, we brought you a heartbreaking story when more than 50 dogs were abandoned in Boone County. Yeah, and those dogs were found after storms swept through the state line over the weekend. You can see some of those dogs on your screen now. The good news, though, is that all of them have been moved to rescue organizations and are in foster care. Many people also stepped up to provide donations to the Boone County Animal Services, including food and treats. Yeah, those were much needed and appreciated, and the issue does not seem to be stopping in Boone County. 13 WREX's Emily McMinn spoke with one of the rescue organizations today. And Emily, what do they have to share with you about it? Well, Derek, the director of one of those dog rescue organizations stepped in to actually organize care for the dogs. However, she says since first taking them in on Monday, they've actually heard from cities up to two hours away about the same thing happening in their communities, leaving her to now experience something she never has before. Kim Morgan is the director of Jellystone Barks Rescue Rangers, helping to care for abandoned dogs for close to two decades. However, she says this week has brought something she has never seen. This dumping is just something new, and I, I have not seen this in the past. I've been doing this for 17 years. Um, I've never seen dogs just turn up. After stepping in Monday after the round of storms to help in Boone County, Morgan says their situation was beyond unfair to the animals. They were fairly close to a road, um, you know, with the tornado and the lightning and the, and the downpours that we had. I mean, it was, it was just really cruel. However, Morgan says the abandoned dogs are now turning up elsewhere, leaving her and her partners to spend the week traveling around Illinois and to Wisconsin to pick up over 30 more. It's pretty unusual for dogs to just be dumped like this and, and to be so many of them in so many different municipalities. It's, it's not like these dogs walked, you know, a, a two hour ride to all these different locations. Now the organization is stepping in to evaluate the dogs, getting them into the vets, hoping to help with not only their physical health, but their emotional health. For them, I mean, they're scared. Um, they, they, they really are desperate for somebody to just hold them and tell them that everything's going to be okay. Despite 17 years of helping animals under her belt, Morgan says this week will go down in history as she says both herself and the cities affected are looking towards solving the problem. It's probably the most bizarre thing that we've that we've had happen in rescue and, and we see a lot of bizarre things happen. Morgan says once all of the dogs have been checked out by a vet and are strong enough to go home, they will be up for adoption. I'll send it back over to John with the forecast.